Hello creative artists! In this tutorial we're going to talk a little about metadata. Metadata is the information that goes with your mp3 files that tells players such as iPads and iPods and Songbird or iTunes all the information it needs to display as it's playing your mp3. So let's have a look at how to do that. In Audacity here I have a piece of sound open. I'm going to go to File, Export and I export this as an mp3. If you're not sure how to export an mp3, you can check out the other tutorial in this series. I got a name up there for it, and the location's in the desktop, and I'm going to make sure it's an mp3. Now I'm going to click Save. This gives me the Edit Metadata window. And you can see we have a few different fields we can fill in here. Artist name, Andrew, and the track title, let's call this Muscles, uh, album title, Let's call Fiddle with Andrew. Track number, let's say track one. Year, let's say it was recorded in 2006. Genre, now at the genre or style of music, you can double click this window and it'll give you a pull down option. And you can choose from a number of different styles here. I'm going to choose Celtic. Comments, this is Andrew playing the, oops, I'm not very good spelling today, playing the fiddle. And OK. And that would save our, our metadata as part of our MP3. Now you can see there are some other functions that were there as well with the metadata, uh, save and load. That's for templates. If you have a lot of MP3s and you're going to have similar metadata for every one, you can save the template with the same name or year or genre and then load it back up, make some minor changes for every um, mp3, and then save the mp3. So for templates, save and load is a good feature there too. And there are a couple of other options you can have a look at as well there. But that's basically it. So that's it for metadata on your mp3s.